All right, guys, the salmon and rockfish win again. It's uh, in one of those slumps. All things, you know, weather going to plan and boat going to plan. I'll be out here in, on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. I've been fishing every Wednesday and uh, once on the weekend for like the last four weeks. So I'm bound to get one eventually. All right, guys, I headed out the harbor. I think uh, this is my ninth attempt at salmon, but we got the whole day, 9 a.m., 9, 10, 9, 15, something like that. We're going out there and we're not coming back in until we get one. I rigged everything up last night so I don't have to cable bait anything that's already pre-rigged. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to bring home my fish finder battery and I don't want to make the drive out here just to charge it. So we have 12.1 volts on the fish finder. It's probably gonna die in half an hour, but that's fine, we can go old school today. It's not like the fish finder was helping me catch fish anyway, so. Diver, we're going three miles per hour right now. That's mostly what I use it for is my speed, but this has GPS too, so it tells speed as well. So honestly, I don't even need it. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of herring here and start trolling around. Boats are uh, going past me here. I don't know if they know where they're going or not, but it's nice to have these already pre-rigged and frozen and everything like that. You don't have to do anything when you get out here except thread it on, just like that. All right, it's got a bend in it already too. I made sure of that last night. Oh, it's glassy out today, guys. Let me show you around. This is like the most beautiful day I've seen. Look at that. Beauty. What a beauty. We're just going for one salmon. Eight hours, one salmon, I'll be happy. All right, guys, over here by the Red Can now. And a ton of markings on the fish finder, I'll show you guys. That has to be some kind of school of bait at 25 feet, so I'm fishing just under them. Hopefully one of them comes down and picks off my uh, herring. All right, guys. We are at a reef I haven't fished at this year, I don't think. Um, we're throwing in the rockfish gear and essentially this reef is about three or four miles um, further out to sea than where I normally fish. So in the afternoon when it gets windy, I won't be able to make it out here. So. The goal is really just to pull up a, a lingcod or two out here and then we'll go back to trolling. But before it gets too windy, which I'm sure it will, thought I'd give it a try. We got something on. Uh, short lane. Oh, look at that. Little short guy, take a picture, capture picture release, and uh, yeah, we'll let him go. So, there you guys go, little link cod, and we'll get him back in the water. Oh gosh, there he goes. Not the cleanest release, but to be fair, he did it to himself. whole ocean this boat drives right by me you know i thought with an eight inch swim bait it would be keepers only but that link call was like 15 inches it's about two o'clock we're gonna have a late lunch here just put out a rod um, with the herring on it for some halibut found a nice sandy spot here all right guys no salmon today um we got nine rockfish i'm trying to close out my limit on rockfish here or maybe get a link caught but uh only got about 10 15 more minutes before I'm about to head in here just wanted to show you guys this beautiful sunset hopefully it comes across well on the GoPro but uh have you guys ever seen anything so gorgeous look at that it's it looks so much better in person I mean it's like pastel blue reds and orange and pink and oh man what a gorgeous gorgeous way to end the day Anyways, I will try and get the last rockfish for my limit here, and then um, we're gonna head in. I'll show you the rockfish as well, but this is supposed to be a salmon trip, and we're fishing for rockfish, so clearly we uh, we messed up along the way somewhere. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully you can see, but 
a healthy limit of rockfish. Nothing insane. A couple good ones, a couple that are a little bit smaller. But I did throw back a whole lot of small ones. So I think that's going to wrap it up for today. But uh, oh man, I'll be back out again looking for those salmon. Tough fishery. I didn't really see anyone salmon fishing after about 11 a.m. this morning. I guess the the bite was either never existed or died down because I never saw anyone hook up. I never had any bites, but we'll be back out again. We'll get them next time.